Only him. Me? Oh, why not? You live in Paradise Row. You know everybody in Tangleton. Why, you conducted the investigation. You know what people want. You'd make an ideal counsellor. But, Miss Strawbridge, a chap like me couldn't be a counsellor. I haven't the brains to be a politician. Don't need brains. Look at the Commons, House of Lords. What's your name? Sir George Gilbert Gribble. I mean, George Gilbert Gribble, sir. You'll back Mr. Gribble, won't you, Father? Why not? He knows one tool from another, can drive a road sweeper backwards and sideways, can dive through a window, and didn't freeze solid at zero temperature. Hmm. If he can stand all that, he can stand politics. Stout fellow. You qualify, my boy? Property owner? Well, I don't think I own any property, sir. Furniture your own? Me, me very own. Well, I bought it all, and it's still in my little room. I've sort of got somebody kind of watching it for me. Good, you're also an employer of labour. You're nominated, Gribble. Nominated? And I could help you with the town planning part, if you wanted me to. Oh, of course, I'm for Miss Strawbridge. But, but Sir Timothy, I'd be scared stiff. Huh? Scared stiff? Of who? Oxbows? I'm not scared of him. Well, not anymore. He makes me so mad, I, I could... I could run against him? Yes, run and give him start and then beat him. That settles it, then. Will you get me the morning record in London, please? Hey, what are you going to tell that newspaper? You're going to do the talking as the new candidate for the Tangleton Urban District Council. If it... I'm a, I'm a... Hello? And although I know it's not on the agenda, I think we must discuss this newspaper interview with a new candidate in the election. Yeah, I quite agree. Thank you. Order, order. Instead of the subject, open for discussion. I get the what? To, to this newspaper interview with the candidate. That's what we're going to discuss. Oh. Very well, I, uh, <coughs> I withdraw my objection. <laughs> this scandal sheet, a man dares to bring an accusation against the veracity, nay, the very integrity of the city fathers, and to slander the fair name of Tangleton. <laughs> George Gilbert Gribble seems to make town planning the centre plank in his ridiculous political platform. As the facts are, he hasn't got a leg to stand on. Of course, you've got two legs to stand up. Well, no. And you'll carry oh, the day. Oh, no. <laughs> George Gilbert Gribble, who knows the people's lives, their hopes, their dreams, states that the results of the investigation he conducted would have proved that the great majority of the citizens of Tangleton want town planning. If the council hadn't deliberately cooked the survey. Order, order. Who is this man who dares to make such accusations against faithful public servants? He is a former, very minor employee of this council who was discharged for incompetence and prevarication. I wouldn't have to be annoyed if I knew what he was calling me. Mr. Chairman. Can you prove that the charges made by Mr. Gribble about the public opinion poll are quite unfounded? <laughs> I think that this letter from Whitehall is proof enough. In view of the almost unanimous approval of the people of Tangleton of the housing conditions in which they live, we must withdraw the offer of a government subsidy to help in the planning of your town. It's a big fib. Most of the people in Tangleton want something done about it. I know what they said. I asked all the questions and I wrote down all the answers. But you, Mr. Oxbow, didn't like most of those answers. That's why you didn't send them to London. <laughs> it's true. You're responsible, Mr. Oxbow. You're trying to cheat the people of Tangleton, but you can't get away with it. I'll beat you, Mr. Oxbow. I'll beat you. How am I doing? You, sir, throw that man up. Yes, Mr. Oxbow. Listen. Music. It's a parade. <laughs> Never mind about him now, George. This is much more important. Listen to me. We must get hold of those forms that were thrown away and send them to Whitehall. But what's that got to do with us? Oh, don't you see? Those forms prove that the people really want town planning. My gum, you're right. Oh. I call you Jane. Oh, that's the name, isn't it? George? <laughs> We've got them. We've got a lot of work, George. But do you mean to say you've got most of them? Well, enough to settle Mr. Oxbold. We're going to let all the people see them at the mass meeting tomorrow afternoon, after the town planning exhibition. Yes, sir, we're going to make Mr. Oxbow look pretty sick. Good for you, George. Hold on a minute. 
Can we get a down on this? And now, Jim, hold the front page for replating. I think I can get the undersecretary for municipal...